Hi everyone, this is Penny here with Wacko Witch Astrology on YouTube, and today I'm here to talk to you about the energy and the influence of the letter O. Uh, so I do a lot of videos on astrology, and that helps explain some of the spiritual inner workings that we have going on behind the scenes in our life. And there's also energy and vibration that comes from each of the letters of the alphabet, both in how they sound when we speak them and how they look in writing and where they land in the alphabet. Now, O is the 15th letter of the alphabet. And when we add one and five, we get six. So it's influenced by the number six, which has a lot to do uh, with nurturing and with turning things into something else, you know, now that we have the foundation, now that we have the individuals who, who are involved in the group and what we want to do, now we have to take care of some of the more emotional types of responsibilities and what is going on with the community that we have around us. And that's kind of what the number six is about. So I wrote around here a bunch of names that start with the letter O. Uh, and there's really not that many. I don't know too many people who have a name who starts with the letter O in my own personal life. And then I wrote words that start with the letter O too. And uh, that's a little bit more common, but we can see what kinds of themes we have here. O is a very kind of primal, I think, letter and a primal sound. Uh, I think the word onomatopoeia is a good expression of this because uh, onomatopoeia, if I remember correctly, I think that's the one that's like literally about noises and stuff. Um, go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've taken an English class uh, where we covered that. Uh, but yes, the, the shape of the circle, that's something that has basically been around here since the beginning of time before any one of us even have, you know, the planet that we are on it is shaped as a sphere and it might not be a completely perfect sphere neither is the one that i drew here as you can see um but when you look at that it's still even though it's a sphere and it's a 3d shape it still ends up just looking like this circle uh same with our sun and it's almost i feel like it could possibly be the most natural shape for something to be and for something to take and same thing with the, the letter O and the way we say it. It's just, it sounds like a noise. It sounds like something that naturally comes out of our mouth. And we even have a word that is called O. And I think a lot of languages have a word that's just O. And they might not spell it with an H like we do in English, but it's there. And then we have things like off. We have noises like oink. Um, we have over, we have or, we have opposite. Olympics, like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of transitional types of words and words expression, expressing various types of extremes. And then this word Olympics, it sort of expresses a big goal uh, that we have in modern day. And this word optimal, that expresses a big goal as well. So the reason why I feel that we don't normally have names that start with the letter O is because O can be a overwhelming energy. It has a lot of power and influence in it just because it's such a primal and powerful expression in how it has always kind of existed here. Um, and I think using a name for your business or for your child that starts with the letter O can almost be kind of risky because it can, as I said, be overwhelming. And then the influence it has it seems like something that can just kind of um, pull over and it can be something so wide spreading, wide, what, excuse me, wide spreading that it affects so many people like the Olympics. The Olympics really inspires and empowers a lot of people, even people who don't ever um, strive to compete in the Olympics, even people who aren't athletes still love to watch this and they feel very inspired by it. And then we have people like Oprah Winfrey who again, inspire many people, even though she's been a somewhat controversial character um, in certain ways. Uh, she's also been known for massive amounts of generosity and um, you know, even people who don't watch her show, they can hear something she said and still find it to be quite inspiring. And then we have uh, the name Ophelia, who is a character uh, in a Shakespeare play. And she as well is a very controversial character. 
So, basically, the reason why I'm going to say this is kind of a, a thing and a, a theme for these people's lives is the power of a circle. I almost feel like it can it can grow and it can get wider and it can become further encompassing. So whatever it is, it can continue to reach more and more people. So hopefully it's going to be something positive that can get people going. And whatever kind of primal energy you're expressing, there's always some truth behind it. And I feel that um, people whose names start with the letter O, they're, they're very interested in the truth of how we're feeling. They don't necessarily just want to play along with society and play along with the structures that we have in society because they realize there's some areas in which society needs to change. There's some areas in which society has kind of strayed from the truth and the real purpose of things. Even though all the rules and regulations were put into place for a reason, sometimes we forget the reason and then we end up continuing with the rules and regulations even when they're harmful. And I think that's a concept that people whose names start with the letter O really understand. So they have this sort of unconventional aspect of their personality, but they still usually try to cooperate and follow within the rules just because they understand that it's important for the sake of community. Um, but they, a lot of times they know that this can cause something that this will be something that can kind of cause them to be rejected by many people. So they might, they might try to hide it or they might try to express it in a sort of negative way. Um, and that's really not going to serve them well when they do it. So basically they have to recognize, you know, whatever sort of primal calling they have underneath them, what the voice in their head is telling them, what they know in their heart is right and wrong. And they need to go ahead and amplify that. Go ahead and put that under a magnifying glass so they can understand it and so they can see what's really going on and see why they're not necessarily wanting to cooperate. Because when they pretend to cooperate, it's kind of funny, cooperate has that double O in it. And the thing about having double letters in a word is it's said to cancel them out. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of a funny word if we want to start to analyze the word cooperate. So, uh, cooperating, is it really cooperating if you feel that you have to cooperate or is cooperating really just playing around? I think that's an important question for people with names who start with the letter O, uh, to ask themselves. Also, if you're trying to choose a name and you want to use something uh, that starts with the letter O, um, I would be very mindful of how the letters around it affect the letter O and whether or not um, those letters are necessarily compatible with that. You can go ahead and watch the videos uh, for the, the rest of my alphabet series to help you make a decision on that, whether you're naming a business or you're naming your child. And also look at the lives of famous people who have the name, like Oprah, um, Olivia, you know, if you can find like a uh, in Orlando, like Orlando Bloom or something like that, look at their lives and um, their personalities and try to find more than one person who has the name, of course, because they're not going to have an identical life to Oprah Winfrey just because they have that name. There's many other things that influence our lives other than just the name. But this is one thing uh, that can help us find our role in the world and our path. I hope you liked the video. Please return to my channel again uh, for more videos. And uh, have a, a great evening. Bye.